Absolutely. In Britain, the issue of Americanization becomes a universal concern. American culture, it is believed, is seeping into our own, through our TV screens, our cinema, and even through our food. But what do the people of Britain think of the growing issue of Americanization? Today, we take it to the streets. So there's a, there's a lot of American organizations operating in Britain today. Obviously, there's a lot of fast food. Um, our cinema is dominated by Hollywood, um, and at school uh, we're having problems now, which is a very American thing. So um, what do you think we should uh, do about this uh, American culture seeping into our own? Do, do you think we should reject it, or do you think we should, um, we, we should embrace it? Or, or what do you think? Um, I'm not sh I'm not I don't think it's something that needs to be rejected in any way because I think it's quite important to have a bit of diversity when you're like in your own country like it's not good that we'd only just have you know say English film and English culture because it'd be a bit you know diversity is always good embrace it as long as we know that like acknowledge the fact it's not originated from the UK I am um, but why is it you, you think that do you think like it's important to, to stay British yeah Seeing as we're Britain, uh, I think American culture could possibly improve our culture. It's just important that we don't claim it as our own. We need to make it our own, so change it in our British ways. I quite like American culture personally, and I feel that you know I quite appreciate American film and American TV and American food actually, because I went to TGI Fridays a few weeks ago and it was great. Had like a, had a burger that was almost a pound of meat. Well, I don't think it's a question of um, accepting it or or rejecting it. I think it's going to come whatever happens, um, because of the, of the amount of media that we get from America. Um, I think especially younger people perceive it as um, a, a different way of life that uh, enhances their own, and therefore they're going to take a lot of it on board. The problem I see is, is um, not overwhelming our culture. All cultures and Americanisms, in, in particular, will will grow. All language grows and evolves, and um, ours is being influenced by a, a far greater size culture than, than than we have. Therefore, it's going to go more one way than the other. So, what what do you think is uh, responsible for the the Americanization that we see today? Do you think it's film? Do you think it's TV? Um, did you, uh, do you think it's fast food, or do you think it's a mixture, or, or do you think it's something entirely different? Um, it's a mixture of a lot of things, but I think mostly probably film and television, because I think that's the biggest kind of injection that we get from American culture like into our lives. Because I don't see... not... I don't know really. Like, films, majority of films are American films. And what was it? I remember I saw something on the internet. It was like, the Avengers had... The budget for the Avengers was more than the whole of Britain gets an entire year for filming. It could be a wide range of things. I reckon it's more of the immigration of people to America or Americans to here. So us British go to America, make films our way, but then that could be claimed as American. I'd say a mixture of all of it. So I think it's quite, you know, I like the fact that we've got American culture and films to kind of it keeps everyone sort of on par with each other if we had no American films we wouldn't be able to know what everyone else is doing and we wouldn't be able to like we probably have it keeps Britain kind of high quality or higher quality anyway not as good as America obviously oh it's definitely the media um, television especially I think um, Hollywood produces most of the films um, I mean I was born in 1949 so I mean, nearly all the films that I saw were uh, American-based, and um, they they gave a, a, an insight to a much larger culture. Obviously, a lot of, uh, of fantasy and so forth that people could relate to took them out of their humdrum lives. So there was a great influence there, and this has been going on for an awfully long time. What, what do you um, what do you think is the store for the future of Britain if we allow this Americanization to continue? What what do you th uh, see happening in the in the next, say, 50 years or so? Um, I don't think it'd be a bad thing for us to embrace it. It's quite, I think it's quite an important thing to embrace other cultures. Um, plus, I think that America stops Britain from, like, you know, having low quality things, because I feel like Britain always feels the need to keep up with America. Um, 
and they're quite competitive with each other. Well, obviously, personalities between British and Americans are very different, so we could have a mix of that um, and different races to bring more of different cultures into in, um, Britain, and that could change things. American television recently has become a lot more high quality, and although Britain doesn't have like the budget for those kinds of TV shows, they still try to make stuff that can compete with those sorts of shows. Um, and I think that's quite important when you look at everything. Um, I think the American influence will, will still continue. I think we'll get a greater influence from, from Europe as well. Um, I mean, our language, for instance, is made up of, of French, Latin, German, whatever. And, um, and those things will continue to evolve. Um, the longer we stay um, integrated with Europe, then um, th those influences are obviously going to come across. So... At the end of the day, um, our whole culture, which is already a conglomerate, if you like, from all different countries, will continue to evolve and, and you will get more Americanisms, you will get more influences from Europe and you will get a, a gradual um, evolution of culture um, in this country and also we will spread part of our culture to other countries. Do you think it, as, uh, as time goes on that... Uh our TV and our films will become more on par with American film and TV? Um, that's what I assume will happen. Like, I know, obviously, British television doesn't have that high a budget when it comes to TV shows, and they have like a set. They never go over, like, what? I don't know. It's never as high as America, though. Um, but I feel like they try and emulate it in other ways, like just, you know, the way they film things. Um, I don't think it'll make it worse, because British people, obviously, they're not going to change and suddenly become extremely American, they like to keep things you know, nice and British um, and you can obviously tell when something's very British and when something's very American and I feel like that's still quite important, I feel we still need that kind of different wait, that kind of difference um, but no, I don't. it wouldn't be a bad thing if Britain tried to keep on par with everyone but you know, it's quite a good thing actually These are the thoughts of the people of Britain but this humble reporter says that only time will tell. This is Phil Mason signing off for ECTV. It's time to get back to the studio.